Hi, thanks for checking out our repair channel. Uh, this is going to be a uh, testing video talking about a DynaCharge 909. Uh, this is an old solid state unit. This is really nice looking unit. Uh, I don't know how old it is physically. It's probably a 1970s model, somewhere in that range, but man, it is. There's something on the inside moving around, so I need to open it back up. I already put it back together once, so. But, anyways, um, but this is an old solid state unit. These things are really good. These, this one and the International Super 98 was probably the two strongest ones back in the day on fence chargers that you could buy from the 60s and 70s. Uh, there are some bulldozer units that were pretty strong uh, as well. But um, this is a really good unit. Um, it throws a huge spark now that once we got it fixed again. Um, I'm going to have to pull this open, so I might as well do that. But um, there's something moving around on the inside. It was riveted together, but we uh, drilled up the rivets and pulled the front front cover off. That's how you got to get get them open typically. But um, if you want to check out more of what we do, and we got a lot of videos on YouTube of a bunch of fence boxes of multiple brands that we've worked on. Uh, we've also got some videos on there about um, livestock scales and low bars that we've worked on. Not a lot, but some of those videos are out there. Um, uh, uh, leftover piece of rivet. That's what was rolling around. It was like a little BB, but it's a little piece of rivet. But... Well, that's, I guess, why I got it open. I'll show you the inside. That's the inside of this thing. Not much to it. A little circuit board with some stuff on it. And a uh, transformer. Transformers are really overbuilt for this type of application. Um, that's why they last a long, long time. They probably just use some off-the-shelf transformer. Uh, they figured out it would work good. And that's what they used for it. And uh, it's uh, 50 years old or so, and it's still working. Um, or 40 years old, who knows how old this thing is, but that's what the inside looks like, pretty pretty basic. The only thing that we did to it, after we got it pulsing again, this has a little potentiometer, rheostat type thing in here, right down here, this little device right there, that will, you can uh, fine tune the speed that you want to, we, it was going real quick, it was going click, 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 real fast, I'm like, that's kind of, kind of fast, um, slow down a little bit that way if something gets tangled up and they can get away from it um so we slowed it down about every second and a half or so second or so maybe a little bit less than a second um so that's what we uh slowed it down to i mean and we can slow it down even more if we needed to Let's see what that does I don't slow it down too much. Maybe you can only go so slow. No. It, 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 it didn't have a stopping point. So once you go back around, on the, going in the same direction, it speeds back up again. So I want to see if I can see what it's at now. So that's too fast. Actually, it does have a stopping point. Oh, well, it's probably going the wrong direction. All right, let's turn it back this way. Slow down just a little bit more. That should be good. All right, well, go to our website if you want to find out more about what we do. should be a link down below in the, in the description area. It's fencerfixer.com, and fencer and fixer is both spelled with an F as in Frank. And fencer is spelled like that, F-E-N-C-E-R, and then fixer is F-I-X-E-R. But let me... Uh, Plug it back in here, and it has a little light on the front that flashes. Can't really see it, but...
and then we'll throw a little, do a little Spartan jump here. And look at this gap it shoots. I mean, I'm. And it's probably a good half inch, an inch, probably probably closer to an inch spark this, that this thing would jump. So, if you got one of these old solid state units, um, I wouldn't throw it away. I would definitely try to keep it because um, they're really hot charger. And the big downside to the solid state stuff, that's why they don't make them anymore, is um, they don't handle stress real bad, or really, I mean, don't hit, handle stress real good. Um, if you get much of a of a short, it'll just drag it right down and, and kill the thing, or at least kill the shock coming out of it. But if you've like, got a little grass here and there, it'll shock right through it. Like, like the low impedance things that are out now, they handle stress and, and loads a lot better, and you can run a lot bigger fence with a low impedance one. But uh, these are pretty good units. Um, we fixed this up for a guy. Um, it's a good running unit now. We did slow the speed down, which is good, I think. But if you've got a, one of these units and you want it, you know, this particular model or another one, um, you know, box it up and send it on into us. And we get free quotes on everything that we work on. And uh, we give 18 month repair warranties and everything that we work on as well. So even if it's a 50 year old unit like this one, a 40 year old, how old this thing is, um, you know, there's a year and a half warranty on it. Uh, lightning damage is part of our warranty. The only thing we don't cover is water damage, bugs, and you know, mishandling, something like that. But if it's a malfunction of it of some sort or lightning gets it, uh, we'll fix it at no charge. If we can't fix it, we'll reimburse you the money and you can apply that money towards buying a new one. And we don't sell new units, we just work on them. So we can always help you, you know, try to figure out what a good unit would be to buy based on reliability and longevity and all that kind of stuff. But anyways, until we do another video of how to work on one, or how one works, um, or how the features of one, we will see you guys later. And remember to subscribe to our channel.